Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, viewers! I'm H.C. Santa, and welcome back to Let's Play Parasite Eve! Last time, we got a key to the doors, but it doesn't unlock this door, unfortunately. So, I'm gonna have to come down through the chimney. Oh, wait, I already did that, didn't I? Okay, never mind. But anyway, we can go th into these other rooms, so let's go check it out. See if they got any more gun ammunition around here. Excellent. Always a good thing. Hey, little birdie. How's it going? You want a little food? Oh, I think the bird said Merry Christmas. But apparently it's working for Eve. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, the thing with the bird there is it'll ca it won't attack you straight on. It'll always come in like a circle or a, well, an oval path or something or other but anyway for winning the battle we uh gain a level there and you also see in the lower left there we got bonus points uh those are sort of like ability points in the game you only accumulate them or actually get them upon leveling up but you do accumulate them from every bat every single battle you go into it's just hidden until you gain the level there you see it also increased our item capacity and other stats there so just something to keep in mind now, as for using bonus points, we can't do that right now. Y you have to have 100 bonus points at least before you can actually spend them. So, yeah, there's nothing we can do with that right now. But I do want to reload my gun there. So, let's do that. Just in case I find some naughty, naughty children around here. Okay, let's move on. Oh, yeah, you see in the upper right there, that's where it says the number of bonus points you got. But, yeah, we can't do anything there, so move on. Just came in there to get my gun off and get some more bullets to do so. Gotta reload. Let's see. Well, let's take a look in the closet here. More bullets? It is! Hooray! Can never have enough bullets in New York. But anyway. Oh. Well, let's take a peek. Why not? Yeah, that was quite a while ago. Hmm. Well, so much for that concert. Well, that's uh, rather extreme. Are, are you even getting paid for this? Well, I suppose she has the ability to get all these drugs, apparently. Yeah, yeah, probably. But she wasn't the actress there. Oh. 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 What's the medicine for, anyway? Eh, it's probably not important. I wouldn't worry about it. Why is uh, opera so important? How are you getting the prescription for these drugs without a doctor? Well, hey, take it easy there, lady. Oh, nuts. Or... Maybe you don't need to worry about that anymore. Uh, you said you'd sell your soul to the devil, lady. You can't just do that and then suddenly ask God for forgiveness. I mean, I'm not an expert on the subject, but I would imagine that's how it would work. Well, she seemed to be okay to me until... Everyone got set on fire somehow. Well, so much for going to the park for a little picnic there. Hmm, is it like a painkiller or something? Or... Eh, don't worry about all these questions I'm asking viewers. It's probably not important. I'm just naturally curious. But anyway, we get the rehearsal key, which will let us get through that upper door there. But there are some other locked doors down here with some really good stuff that we should probably go after. 
Or I could get into another battle here. Why not? Now, battles aren't actually random in this game here. Uh, shoot the dog. Get out of the way. Yes. Yeah, battles aren't actually random. There's hidden encounter points, like the one I just ran into there. And it'll... Well, that determines when you get into a battle. And we got some more ammo from the rats. Awesome. But yeah, with the encounter points, uh, my understanding of the way how it works is the first time you go over or walk over an encounter point, you have a 100% chance of getting into the battle there. I need to reload my gun. Uh, the second time you go over an encounter point, I mean, after leaving the screen, obviously, if you come back, I think it's a 45% chance, and every time after that, I think it's 10%. But I've heard that, like, there's some encounter points that are different from that, too. So, I, I don't have the precise numbers for every single encounter point. I just used a medicine there, just because I had no more inventory space left. And, well, I had to use something, so I figured I'd just use that. Well, another burnt corpse there. Must have been that clown. Nuts. So, let's see. You go over here. Got another encounter point. So let's see, now this one's going to be a little tricky because we're kind of surrounded here. And I don't want to get hit by these guys. So let's do that. Shoot the dog. Or rat. Whatever. It kind of looks like a dog to me. Let's shoot the other rats. Okay, now wait here. Wait for the bird. Get out of the way. Like I should have done the first time. A little closer. There we go. Awesome. You got pretty good aim to be able to shoot a bird like that, eh? Yeah. But, all right. And oh yeah, when you win a battle, you uh, yeah get more medicine there. And uh, I think I just gained another level there. So all right. And we get even more inventory space. Let's see. You know, I'm gonna need more inventory space anyway, so I'm just gonna use the medicine right now because I've got so much of it. Why is she taking so many drugs? She's got a drug problem. Proceeds to take medicine yourself. Hypocrite! But anyway, uh, that treasure chest that I just got there, uh, I've also gotten medicine from that one as well. So sometimes chest contents will vary, but for the most part, it's never really important. Well, usually not really important. So, and even if it were, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. Not like Final Fantasy XII, where you can manipulate chest contents so easily like that. But anyway, one more room to go. Let's check this one out. This is the one I was telling you about with that gun that's kind of hard to get there. So, let's see. What's my inventory? Oh, good thing I checked my inventory. My gun was empty. Okay, well, first things first, let's open this. Defense plus one. Huh. When I was practicing earlier today, I got offense plus one. I thought the chest contents were dependent on uh, when you started a new game, but I guess I was wrong. Well, there you go. But anyway, it's like a stat, permanent stat boost for your armor there. But I don't want to use that right now. I'd rather save that for another piece of armor that I'm going to get in the near future anyway. So let's not worry about it. Yeah, those uh, stat boosts, they go directly to your equipment, not to the character. So, oh well. But anyway, we got this closet here, and I can't seem to figure out how to get in the right spot to open it. There we go. Uh-oh. Nuts. Or rats. But anyway, with those, uh, with, with the stat boost, so yeah, I'm going to be saving that for later there. If I got offense, an offense stat boost, I still would save it for later, because we're going to get another weapon soon, too. But anyway, let's see. Okay, so we go in here. Wow! I have never opened that closet and gotten the gun so quickly. It usually takes me minutes to do it, but... Alright, so now we got a better gun there. So let's uh, equip it there. You can't carry as many bullets in the magazine there, but... Well, you take what you can get. It has better attack power, a little better range, so I like it for now. But even if, even with this gun, if I got an offense plus one from that chest there, yeah, if I did that, 
I would have I wouldn't use it on this gun because we're gonna get another even better gun very soon too. So if only there were an item that would let me transfer all these bonus stats from one weapon to another. But sadly, we have no such item. Ha ha! Hidden treasure. Let's go grab that one. But yeah, spoiler alert: there is a way to transfer bonus stats. Oh, uh, not yet. Uh, hold on, let me see what I got here. Okay, I am out of room, and I'd really rather not use that defense one. And I do want to hold on to my weapon, or my backup weapon, for later. I have other plans for it. So let's just move all the ammo away there. And let's discard uh, medicine there, because I've got way too much of it. So, but here we get a better piece of armor, the normal protector. So let's equip that. So, yeah, a little better in every way there. Defense does what you think it does. Uh, I think that's Parasite Energy. So, yeah, that's... I think that affects, like, your magic defense... Basically, magic defense or something. Or your... Paras and or your Parasite Energy, which is your MP. Uh, I... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how that works, but... And Critical is, like, critical defense, but I've heard some people say it affects your critical hits, too. Uh... Yeah, there, I wasn't able to find a whole lot of information about that subject, so let's just put it this way. More is better. That's all I really care about. Little's good, more is better, just like the drugs. No, no, more drugs are not good. But anyway, okay, so we got all that stuff. Let's head up to the theater room, or not theater room, uh, the rehearsal room there. Now, I edited out that battle because it was the exact same thing as before. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to go in there. But yeah, for the most part in this game, since it really is an action game, although it's, well, an action RPG, really. But because of the action mechanics, I'm going to be showing off more battles than perhaps I otherwise would if it were like a pure JRPG, because it's not just the enemies that you're fighting, but there's also like the terrain or how much room you've got to move around like uh, that second battle that I fought earlier where I had the, where I was surrounded by the bird and the two rats there it's kind of tricky to move around in there because it's not a wide open space so I like showing perhaps more battles than I otherwise would but that battle was identical to the one I showed before so I figured okay I'll just edit that one out but what do you mean by that What's nucleic domination? You like a scientist or something? Whoa! Nice tail. Watch where you're sticking that thing, though. What happened to your hair, lady? Holy cow. I want to see someone, someone about that growth there. And some people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, are you going to do a counter for every time they say mitochondria in this game? And the answer is no, because I would have to do it like ten times an episode. So, th yeah, that's kind of ridiculous for me, I think. Okay, now she shoots these lasers at you. Okay, I didn't move fast enough, but sometimes when she shoots those lasers at you, they she'll just stay still, expecting you to try and dodge. And thus you run into them. Yeah, like that, you see? But she didn't move. So stay still, you don't get hit by it. So you gotta kind of react pretty quickly there. Haha! -ha! Just wait for it. Oh, out of the bullets. Did I get her? Yeah, got her. All right. So yeah, that's really the only trick to this fight. Just make sure that... You try and stay still if you can, and if she starts moving around with those lasers, then try to move with them if you can. Is that like magic? Or, or metachlorians? No. Well, well, we'll learn more about that later. I'm probably not going to be the best person to explain the biology of this game. Biology was not my strong subject. I was more of a chemistry or physics major. But yeah, biology, not so much. 
But yeah, what's with the doctor there and the little girl? She have some does Eve have something to do with it? Where did she go anyway? Well, anyway, if you go up here behind the piano, ha ha! Why did she keep on going down like that? No, I don't think so. I think that could be dangerous. How many basement levels does this place have anyway? I don't know. But yeah, probably not a good idea to go down there right now. We, we should probably save because, well, there's not going to be a save point down there for a little while anyway. Oh yeah, and some people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, are you going to be doing the post-game dungeon in the game? And the answer is yes, I will be showing that off in the events that follow there. So yeah, worry not, I will be doing everything 100% in the game, except for the junk weapon. But uh, well, I'll go over that when I get to it. But where is Eve going to anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Parasite Eve. This is H.C. Santa. Signing off. And Merry Christmas, viewers!